heading to the city right now to meet BNH Photo, my proud sponsor of the vlog. And, uh, you know, just a normal morning, storming like a madman in NYC. Holy smokes! What is happening? Oh my goodness. I got a brave driver here, yo all. Thanks for driving me in these insane weather conditions, man. I appreciate it. No problem, man. Oh my god. I've been making home alive. Heading into the city from Yonkers. Wish me luck. So the weather outside is completely brutal. Made it to Manhattan, barely. Actually, my Uber driver had a near-death experience, as did I, the backseat. He almost cried. But we made it. And uh, meeting my boy, C. Kurlander from BNH, who I work with, who sponsors the vlog. Been working closely with these guys. I mean, if you don't know BNH, literally just Google any device. Any device, just Google a device. They're number one on Google. These guys are a beast of a company. Really just love the company, and I'm honored to be working with them. Anyway, I walked into HQ just now, and Svi says hello. He'll be on camera, we'll meet him a little bit later. We've met him before, but he hands me this. That's filled with goodies. Let's see what's inside. What? What the heck is in here? Holy smokes. Hat, love it. Bottle, that's heavy duty. It's real, the real deal. That's another battery for my GH5. Always can use more of those. More cables for iPhone can always use more of those. Although now I'm using, now I'm using a, a, a wireless uh, thing for the iPhone 10. Oh, that's nice. Tripod, nice. Ring, what, what? Oh my God, this is amazing. Pro, dude, you hook me up. That's my uh, smart doorbell. How I'm gonna install it is another question. Dude, this thing is jam, jam packed. A higher tripod, I guess, All right? Oh, yes. I got a duo charger for my, I don't have to charge my batteries one at a time anymore. b &H socks, what? More batteries, <laughs> Oh my God, that is awesome. A USB-C to use, regular USB, I love that. A little tiny thing, amazing. Seriously, seriously nice bag. Wow, bro, is there more stuff in here? This is very heavy. <laughs> Man, I, this is like, oh my God, I love it. That is a lot of stuff. Holy smokes. Love it. B&H photo, man, I'm telling you. Uh, listen, I'm not objective now because I do work with them, but I've been shopping at B&H since, since I've been shopping online, basically. So it's super cool to be working with them, and yeah, I'm really excited to get all this stuff, and how I'm gonna bring it back to Israel? I don't know, we'll figure it out. Thanks, B&H. All right, so I mentioned B&H a lot, and you know, they are a sponsor of the vlog officially, but you haven't really seen the people behind the scenes who are making all the swag happen and all, I mean, not swag, it's beyond swag. This camera, the, the GH5 is from them, and you know, many, many things that I use to vlog and generate content, all from them. So I wanted to just give you a little sneak peek into two of the guys. It's a whole team, they have a whole influencer team at b &H, but two of the guys that are making the magic happen. Who are you? How are you, sir? I'm Jose Brown. I manage our strategic partnerships here at BNH for online marketing. Love it. And it's an absolute pleasure to be working with Hill. It's first time meeting and uh, honestly, absolutely enamored. Dude. But the credit goes to this guy right here. You're a star, man. You're a star. We'll go back to you in a second. Who are you? Okay. Hey, how are you doing? This is me, Carl Ander. Well, you were on the vlog before, right? I was on the vlog briefly. Lonely Aiden is in Jerusalem. Yes. Cool. And, uh, Tell me what you do here, man. Our music. I handle accounts uh, directly, specifically yours. Uh, my primary focus is Hello Fool. <laughs> no, it's not. No, no, no. Uh, <laughs> we do a lot of uh, we do a lot of partnerships and uh, influencer relationships, and I'm I'm just a middleman for all that stuff. I gotta say, you know, like I told these guys just now, I work with a lot of different brands in, a, in an official marketing capacity, whether it's Google or Huawei or Oracle or you know, DJI and many many others. Every company is different, but what the what these guys do, they don't they don't they're not familiar with the word no, literally. Like, he, he's never said no to me. Like, he's like, I can't do it right now, but then I come here and these guys like pounded me with swag here. So I appreciate everything. And this guy, I mean, you're making it happen. I, I really, I, I try, really. I try, but honestly, the credit goes to my team. Love and it. Sweet, chief among them. Love so. it. Well, thank you guys for everything. And I definitely hope that we can work for many, many years into the future. You bet. Yeah, appreciate it. Forward. We're Thanks excited. Yeah, not as excited as I am. All right, man. <laughs> Thanks. At BNH, the store, like a kid in a candy store. I'm gonna do a little walkthrough here. One of my favorite stores. Love, love this company. Super honored to be working with them on the vlog. Here we go, join me in this walkthrough. Oh my God.
curved displays? Oh, really? Did it? Tell me about that. Why? Because the curve doesn't do anything. So this is the top of the line TV here? Yep. Which one's better? They're both the same picture quality. What's the picture quality? They're OLEDs, so they're the best you can get. And that's the wallpaper? This one has speakers built into the screen and the sound goes through it. So you don't actually see the speakers. Oh, this is the wallpaper? Holy smokes. This is the whole TV. Yep. That is crazy. Comes with a nine channel Adobe Atlas. That is, how much is this? Seven grand. We just had what is, in my opinion, the most underrated restaurant in the world, honestly. We're eating, what's the name of this place again? Bedford on Park. Bedford, Bedford on Park. Park. Meeting with the B&H guys. Who are you, dude? Uh, Jose Brown. One and only. And you? Hey, good looking. Say hi. I love it. You want to promote okay. the American family? I want to talk about you a little bit. Come here. So I just said this is the most underrated yeah. restaurant, probably in all of the world, but definitely all in New York. Not anymore, it's not. That's right. You get a hold of it. That's what right. I'm talking about. That steak was perfection. Tell me about this place a little bit, real quick. So uh, we're about a year old. All right. And um, I believe that we have some great steaks. No, believe no, that's, the steak that, was. That's confirmed. That's a fact. We are, we are freaking customers. We're a big company. We bring a lot of clientele here, and I can vouch for that. The steak was ridiculous. What's, well, give me some of the appetizer stuff off the top of your head. Uh, so what do we have? We have poutine fries, which are uh, smoky brisket. On, uh, fries, we have uh, a veal bacon, we have a tuna tataki. The veal bacon is bonkers. And, oh, we have uh, what was the fish smoky... Thing with the, with the fish thing with the corn chips? Oh my god, that, that fish thing, man. What is the tuna tataki? Oh, oh, yeah. That was insane. Yeah, well, I'm telling you that, Chef. What's his name again? Kinyo. The guy's a genius. Thank you for having me. It was Thank awesome. You. And I'd like if someone I tagged you on Facebook yeah, and you just came over like that second. That was awesome. awesome. Really enjoyed this. All right, guys, out of here. Off to meet Michael Justison. Finished a couple of meetings, most of which I could not get on camera. Now I'm heading to Brooklyn to Izzy's, one of the best barbecue places in the tri-state area. And I'm going to meet Benny Friedman, the singer slash performer. And I'm sitting in the Uber that he ordered me. So I'm on my way to Brooklyn from Manhattan right now. Drive slowly because it's crazy out there. But um, super pumped to hang out with Benny and Avram, his, uh, I guess, manager. I don't know officially what the title is, but I'm going to meet the one and only Benny Friedman. I don't know if, if you follow Jewish music, he's the guy that sings a couple of hit songs like Yesh Tikva and Ivri Anochi, which is the hot new Jewish song. And uh, yeah, basically we follow each other on Twitter and, you know, we've met a couple of times before his concerts, but uh, we didn't get a chance to hang out. So I'm very, very excited to hang out with him and super cool of him to order me this Uber. I didn't have to do that, but pretty cool. It was a crazy awesome day. Uh, we had a big fundraiser I was supposed to speak at tonight that was canceled because of the storm or postponed till Monday night. But uh, tomorrow I have another speaking uh, engagement at SAR and then uh, a couple of more the beginning of the week Tuesday morning headed to Boca Raton Florida and then to Miami so uh, yeah like I said pretty intense week Wednesday morning early morning I believe back to Tel Aviv all right now off to Brooklyn check out the weather outside Izzy's Barbecue. I gotta say, everyone knows I'm a foodie, right? So I come to New York, I get 8,000 emails from people who go to Izzy's. What, what, is, this place, I don't know. Like, you're like the most popular. All right, so meanwhile, I'm telling you, you have like the best name, the best name. And I was just in the city, I came all the way out here. First of all, to meet Benny. Equally important to come to Izzy's. Who are you? I'm uh, Izzy's from Brooklyn Smokers, the proprietor here, sort of. You are the Izzy. I'm just this Izzy, I'm just a uh, simple guy, Izzy. I think one of the things that attracts everybody to this place that they're sort of, you have most restaurants, there's really a taste to it. You know, they heard of the restaurant, that's it. I feel like this restaurant has a personality, whether it's through me or through my employees, why not? And like I said, the name, the original name, which is Izzy's Barbecue Addiction at the time, which is I was addicted to the food, sort of is, uh, you know, almost like this. now falling on to the customers. Like, I became obsessed with that wood fired cookie mentality, and I feel like old people are so um, attracted to this. But okay, that's that's awesome, and I'm a marketing guy, so that talks to me. I love that, having a face in the business. I always tell companies, I need a face. That's true. But the food here is off the charts. The, everything is the food. The food is the main thing. Everything else is secondary to that. But talk to you about some things on the menu. I mean, we got some. Hold on, let's get this on the camera here. This thing is super photo. Look at these! Look at these bad boys. Yes, yeah, so this is actually a, uh, you know, awesome item which I love. It's the smoked hot wings, which we 
the smoke for two hours first, so it gets that nice flavor from the smoke. And then we just give it a quick, quick fry, and then we have this um, like sort of like um, hot lime sauce, which is not your traditional um, Frank's Red Hot, which you have in every other restaurant. So just the simple new things, which you don't have a good kosher at the time, really. So I'm, I'm sort of trying to relate Can I just that. say one thing? Can I interrupt you? Sure. I'm going to say one thing. I always tell people in the tech world, you only need one thing. Everything else is secondary to passion. If you have passion and you go in on whatever you're interested in, I don't care what you, you're into Barbie dolls, blog about Barbie dolls. Absolutely. You're into tech, I didn't blog even about them. It's fun too. I love that. I, I didn't, you know, I didn't study tech. I'm not an engineer. I love tech. And I just started writing, right? And I'm not a success story, but I built my career around blogging, right? I love how passionate you are about your food. I, I, I tell you right now, I love that. Thank you. I appreciate it. I feel like that's a lesson for anybody in life. I agree. You can do whatever you want, except I wanted to be a singer. That would not work out. I just told Benny, I just told who's here? Who's here? Benny, Benny Freeman, the man. We're going to interview him in a second. This is like Ivry Anochi and Yesh Pichva and a thousand other hits. He's the man. We're going to talk about him. We were just talking about that. Like you said, you came in, you're like a tech guy. People don't know no, he's a tech guy, which is okay. I'm happy with that. But at the end of the day, one of the things I, I was just talking about, I don't believe in bucket lists, right? If you want to do something, don't say, you know, I always wanted to do Just do it. Right? Exactly. Blogging is something I always wanted to do. Just do it, right? I'm not saying I'm a success. Just do what's going to happen, right? Yeah. Singing is one of those things. I'm just not, you know, I have an okay voice, right? But it's just one of those things that I kind of came to turn. I'm, I'm not going to be a singer. It's a gift singing, though. You're, you're a good singer. You like singing? I'm a terrible singer, but uh, so I sing in the shower all the time. <laughs> it's all good. You really, you, I mean, you want to sing? <laughs> no, it's just a joke. Oh, you're joking. Yeah. Because I actually, it's true about me, though. Oh, really? Yeah, it's awesome. I always wanted to sing. Really? Most people don't know that. Awesome. So how long has Izzy's been around? Izzy's been open now over the actual the store's been open around two and a half years. The, the brand which we go on, sells with Izzy's, almost three and a half years now, but it feels like it opened up a few weeks ago, a month ago. It still has that same feeling, like we're just opened up, we're still learning every day. You honestly have the best name. I'm not kidding, I'm not just saying that. I, 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 I eat everywhere, but everyone speaks about this place, like it's God's gift. I'm lucky with what I said. Let's give me some other things on the menu. What's your specialties? Um, for me, it's not the one, the one thing is the brisket. Yeah, that's or, um, yeah, and the ribs, you got a fun call. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Um, the ribs are good, I remember that. Yeah, the big yeah. rack, no? Yeah, the, yeah, the ribs are really good, but for the brisket, which is a, you know, it's a very tough cut of piece of meat to cook, like everyone knows. And to get it after, you know, it's 18 hours of smoking and the prep time, to get it coming out like, like, like the way you want, you know, taking the cheap cut of meat, that's what I get enjoyment the most. Like, people come for the brisket, for the ribs, you know, even now our fried chicken sandwich, which is a, which is a mistake in the first place, you know. Yeah. Oh, yeah, bigger selling sa sandwich now. Right, let me ask you one question. One more question, I'm gonna let you go, because you're a busy guy. No, it's okay. So, uh, the, the, the place kind of gives it its, you know, it's like a small, intimate, it's kind of like it's part of the brand. But are you going to expand ever? So this, this was honestly, yeah, when I, time I opened up, this was supposed to be a small community place. I had no prior food experience in the industry. What did you do before? Yeah, I used to manage for a food and spice company. I never worked in food before. This was just almost an experiment, but we do have a big plan for the future. We don't excited about that. And 18 is hopefully going to be big. Man, I wish you all the luck in the world. If there's anything I can ever do to help you, I mean it. I mean it. Thank you. Thank you. Marketing. And I, you know, to be clear, people that watch this know that I know that I mean this. We don't know each other that well yet, but I don't mean God forbid for anything. I want to help. Like, I'm gonna be Billy. Billy, my business is help. I'm the business of helping. That's awesome. I can help you in any way you tell me. All right. Thank you, man. Fantastic awesome to meet you. Good luck. Guys. The truth is, I'm here because you know Izzy's, like I said, the place to be. But equally, I'm starstruck. I'm telling you honestly. Many people don't know this, but my iPhone is jam-packed with Jewish music. I love Jewish music. I always love Jewish music. People, again, view me as like a tech guy, but I'm sure that I love music in general, and I love Jewish music. And hands down, one of my favorite Jewish singers today, hands down, is this guy, Benny Friedman. Benny Friedman, tell me about yourself a little bit. <laughs> well, my name is Benny Friedman. Isn't that cool we connected on Twitter, by the way? I find that awesome. I don't know. To me, that's just kind of you don't you don't you know you don't you see like Benny Friedman. You don't think you know. There's Not only that, but we regularly communicate through Twitter. Love it, love it. Love it. <laughs> we upgraded our relationship recently. You gave me your phone yeah. number. Now we SMS, but I, but the truth is, very recently, a long time. It's true. Twitter DMs. It's true. You know who else I DM with? I don't know if you even know this person. Do you know who Lisa Milano is? Do you remember? Uh, you know? Do you remember this TV show? Who's the boss? That is really interview. All right. Well, anyway, who's the boss? I grew up on that show. I don't know how old you are, but I'm 39. I grew up on that show. She was the actor. She's a major like celebrity, very activist, like a big activist, political, whatever. So we were on Twitter. Ellen DeGeneres follows me on Twitter. You know Ellen DeGeneres. So I'm like mega. It's at, 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 Twitter to me is like a phenomenon. It's an enigma. I don't know how people find me, but I love it. So really strong. Most important. Uh, Casey Neistat. He doesn't follow me. Doesn't follow you? No. Just messages you. Yeah, we message. Yeah, we, we email back. I'm really, I'm one. I'm really disappointed he's not here this week when I'm in New York. He's in South Africa. You know, you know he's Jewish, right? I didn't know. Yeah, he's Jewish, yeah. Uh, There's something... Uh, who? Uh, Gary Vayner. Yeah, he's Jewish also. I, I'm not going to make a joke about yeah, no, he's nice. Well, I'm not, I'm not going to... I was going to make a uh, very politically incorrect joke. I'm going to leave that aside. All right. Benny Freeman, who are you, man? Talk to me. I'm uh, from Minnesota. I grew up in Minnesota. My parents are still from Minnesota.
soda. Shulchim, uh, just to, if I'm going to dumb it down a little bit here for, for people that may not know, uh, Lubavitch, you've heard of. Lubavitch is, I guess, one might say, a sect of Hasidic Judaism. And they, they believe in what's called, I guess, maybe called Tikkun Olam. Fixing the world, making the world a better place. We all believe in that. You guys actually do it. You send people all over the world, and I cannot tell you how many times, I don't know if you even know this story, how many times Shulchim, Lubavitch, Chabad, like, majorly saved, not saved my life, but saved me in, in pickles. I was, I had an emergency landing with my buildings in Montana. Chabad, Oh, that's right. Six that. hours and brought me food. I was broke. Yes, yes, there you go. And in Venice, love, you love Chabad Venice. So I'm a huge, huge fan of what you guys do. You make the world a better place. You just downright, straightforward, make the world a better place. Okay, so you were that. Yes. So, uh, yeah, we grew up in Minnesota, where it's uh, chillier than it is here tonight in New York. Oh, boy. Bainy, 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 bainy. Oh, 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 What's going on here? Food has arrived. Biscuit. My special lord. Holy smokes. We have some Benny, I think we, I think we, I, I don't know, I think you were just like outed by the fiat. Yeah. Okay. Today, 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 yeah, no, we're, we're gonna eat soon. Today, you are, I, you, you know, I'm, I'm sorry if this is embarrassing you, but you are by far one of the most, if not the most, popular Jewish singer. You have hits like Ivri Anochi, which, you know, I mean, the numbers on YouTube alone will tell the story. Millions and millions and millions of views. People, everyone knows that song. Everyone knows Yesh Tikva and many, many other hits. I mean, I said in my Facebook post, we took up a selfie just now, so that's cool. To me, honestly, and, you know, I'm gonna say this to you right now, I said to you, what kind of, to me, it all makes me happy. You know, you know why I love you? Don't stop. Why? You know why I love you? I love you because you're happiness in life. You enjoy life. And you're on stage, I look at you, you're happy, genuinely happy. So I think that that's probably, I, I we never talked about it, but I would imagine that's a philosophy of yours. Happiness. Uh, for sure. Yeah. For sure. And especially in my line of work. Um, and you're not phenomenal hearing Simcha, by the way. You're a phenomenal performer, Thank I gotta tell you. It. Sorry that I'm like, you know, not letting you talk, but I, no, no, I appreciate I'm it. Starstruck, man. What am I gonna tell you? All right, so, so what's, what's my, the future? My, uh, my father-in-law told me, you, if you're not happy, so it's basically impossible to make other people happy. Love it. You can't share something you don't have. Love it. Anyway, my uh, my plans for the future are to continue making music that uh, that I think is good and that I think uh, adds a little bit of value to the world and uh, keep uh, love it. By the way, most people do know this, but those that don't know, I would say the icon of Jewish music in the world in the last, I don't know, 40 years is Avram Fried. And Avram Fried is Benny's uncle, my father's uncle. brother, uh, which makes a whole lot of sense when you hear you guys sing. I can't even imagine what your like family get-togethers are like. Probably sounds like heaven, but uh, in any case, man, listen, again, let's eat, but I, you know, first of all, I appreciate you taking the time. Love your work, love your music. Just keep doing good, man, that's all I'm saying. Just keep doing good. Right, you do, you do you. Fantastic. Let's turn this off and eat. Like I said, I love music and Jewish music, and this guy right here is cooking good looking. Yitzi Spinner, whose wife, Rachel Spinner, arranged this entire trip for me. This guy, I was like, I was a fanboy growing up, because he was like a prodigy kid singer. And then, now, he's working, we're not allowed to talk about who he works for. I'm going to interview him in a second, but he does weddings and performances for the biggest names, not in Jewish music, but celebrities around the world. Yitzi, we're not allowed to talk about names, I get it, but what do you do? Talk to me. No names. What do I do? Yeah. Um, I interview you uh, tech people. <laughs> No? What do you do? Uh, behind the scenes. Stay behind the you, don't scenes. To, you don't have to say names. Stay behind the scenes. We write music for some uh, some talented singers. Uh, you perform. Hey, what up? <laughs> you, you perform, again, without saying names, because yeah. I get you can't say names, confidence, but you perform. You told me some names of the people yeah. that you've performed weddings and things that they arranged. The biggest celebrities on planet Earth. Big names. Period, full stop. Big Unbelievable. Names. And so you grew up music your whole childhood. You had this, uh, I, think your, I think your breakout song was Daddy Gear. Is that true? Uh, so you're like, do people still say to you, aren't you the daddy deer kid? I get the daddy deer, I get the sunshine. Sunshine is you? Sunshine. Oh, wow. That's the power, um, I mean, it doesn't surprise me. I remember that solo specifically. That was you too? That was you on, on, this, on the live show with your father. Yeah, father? father? Right, that's true. Yeah. My dad. On, on Miami Experience 2? Miami Experience 2, me and my dad. My dad what? played. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Father played the second half. What other songs did you sing? Can we, can we get a little vocals here, guys? Give me something. Give me something. I'm putting you on the spot, but get over it. Give me something. What do you got? Listen to this guy's voices. Yitzi wrote two songs for Benny. Got two, like, hotshot singers here. So, what song did you write? What's the second one that you said?
Okay, let me just say something. I wish I opened my mouth and that came out of my throat. <laughs> Amazing. That was, by the way, that, you know how much I love your voice, but that harmony, thank you. That's one thing I actually have no idea. I cannot I grasp how to harmonize like that. That was amazing. Thank you guys. So, this is a little bit of a different vlog today. We've got two hotshot singers here. And who's this guy? Who's this good looking guy over here, man? Hey guys, don't worry. Who are you? Uh, Hillel, uh, I uh, mix Delta with my wife. <laughs> she does uh, tech. Got a bunch of comedians here tonight. <laughs> She makes uh, Google email. Uh, Google, Google, yes. I am an inventor of voice. Okay, tell me who you really are. By the way, I just want to tell you one thing. Can I say one thing? I was sitting with an investor this afternoon, and I'm not going to mention names, but mention the big Israeli godfather of Israeli tech. And I said, like, yeah, you know, we're friends, like, you know. He's like literally the godfather of Israeli tech. I'm not going to mention a name. He picked up the phone, he just called him. I was so embarrassed. It's like, I'm sitting with Hillel Fold. He's like, you know, you say good friends with someone, right? Friends. I mean, he was an inventor of like the biggest success stories in Israeli history. This American guy, he just picked up the phone and called him. I was, it was very embarrassing. Anyway, go on, yes. So well, that's my hair. Yeah. Your hair's fantastic. Because I was wearing this uh, ski hat all day. So. Okay, put on the hat. Yeah. It's good look. No? All right, so who are you now? My name is Albert. A little serious. My name is Albert Zemis. Yes. I'm fortunate enough to be behind some of the uh, most exciting Jewish entertainers, Jewish singers, Jewish music. Who else? Who? Who else do you work with besides Benny? Benny. Benny's most important. Benny, and I'm, uh, I was privileged to work with uh, a very young, talented rising star called Mordecai Shapiro. Really? Mordecai Shapiro, I'm a fanboy. Oh, yeah? He doesn't watch my vlog yet. we got to make that happen, but... He's an upcomer. And also some, old, some older people. Like, Thank you, like, sir. You, know, you work with the ET, too? Yeah, the elder, the elder. Unbelievable. I'm telling you, like, I'm going to sit with a bunch of stars, but I'm going to turn this thing off now because, you know, I want to have some off-camera off time. Thank you guys for, for finding the time to hang out with me tonight. I'm very excited about it. It's our pleasure. We're literally sitting all day waiting for Hillary to <laughs> Bye-bye. Made it back in one piece. It is freezing. Freezing cold outside. Yitzi Spinner drove me back. We actually got stuck in the snow, but I am back now. To say I'm tired would be the understatement of the century. I'm going to crash very hard right now. Tomorrow, speaking at SAR, it's supposed to be 20 degrees colder tomorrow, so good times. See you tomorrow. I